anointed materials. This is a war. This one is a war. Anointed materials, some call it prophetic materials, some call it uh, apostolic materials, some call it evangelistic materials. I'm talking about your anointing oil. I'm talking about your wristbands. I'm talking about your uh, a prophetic salt. I'm talking, uh, that's a scam. It's a, it's a, that, that's a daylight robbery, a daylight scam. That is business. Do you know how much money is made out of those anointed materials? Some of them are not even prayed for. They are just packaged and then they just ask somebody to design a something and then they put a sticker on the oil, then they give it to you, come and buy this oil. This oil, I slept the whole night. I was sleeping on it the whole night. I know these things because I've, I've been there before. I was sleeping on this oil the whole night. And this one is an oil. If you use this oil, there's a turnaround in your life. And then because you are desperate for a miracle, you run and you buy the oil. It's business. Don't fall for it. It's a scam. The Bible doesn't say in the name of anointed material. Somebody will begin to argue and say no. But the Bible says, uh, let the elders, uh, if there's anyone among you who is sick, let the elders go and lay hands and anoint him with oil. It's true. There's no scripture that says sell it. No way. Somebody will say, no, what about Jesus? When he was healing the blind man, he spit on it, and then he took the mud. He put the mud on the face of, uh, on, on the eyes of the, yes. Go and do the same. Take mud, spit on it, don't sell the mud. Simple. Anything that you will come and sell, it is pro it, 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 it's a scam. It's prohibited. It's not the gospel. Somebody will say, no, you see, uh, for these uh, anointed materials, like the anointing oil, we have to buy the bottle, and then we buy the oil, so whenever we are selling it, we are charging people for the bottle and the oil, so don't buy it. If you are going to buy it so that you can come and uh, sell it, so don't buy it. Let's just use the name of Jesus. Anything you have to buy, and then they tell you that after you buy this, there is power that you will receive, it's a scam. Anything you have to buy with your money, then they tell you that after you receive this, uh, uh, you take this anointed sticker, you put it. Somebody gave a testimony some time ago in some church and said, no, uh, I would like to thank God that uh, the sticker of Papa was on my car. And as the sticker of Papa was on my car, I had an accident. And then as I had that accident, uh, uh, the sticker was left unscratched. Are you out of your mind? What level of ignorance do we have in Africa? You were in an accident. You are supposed to thank God for your life and you are there testifying that the sticker was not scratched. So the sticker has got power. Oh my God. May God deliver Africans from the spirit of ignorance. May God deliver Africans from the spirit of ignorance. So anointed materials. There's anointed oil. There's prophetic salt. There's uh, wristbands. There's stickers. There's holy water. And then they'll tell you this holy water. This is water that is bought from ShopRite for five rand. Or rather, how much is water at ShopRite? Five rand. Water at ShopRite is five rand. Then when it comes to church, they sell it for 100 rand or 200 rand. That is more than 2,000% profit. Don't you see that it's a scam? Five rand water is being sold for 100 rand in church simply because the pastor has laid his hands on it. Is he Jesus? Is he Jesus for you to say because he has laid his hands on it, now it has got power. It is now too much. It is now, who is he? He's just a human being like you who's probably also going to hell. Who is he? He's just a human being like you. What does he have that is so special? Nothing. Nothing. He's just an Adama. He's just Adama means the earth, the soil. He's just the soil. He's just mud. He's just like you. There's no difference. Oh, because Papa prayed for the oil. Now the oil carries. Okay, if you, if you want oil, it's fine. If you love to use oil, buy your own oil. Let them pray for it and take it to your house. Simple. So that you can be. You know, there are people who really love oil. They can't sleep without oil. They are watching me now. They can't sleep. As long as there's, there's no oil. Oh, no, never. Never, never. They can't sleep. Bring oil, then they'll fall asleep. 
Say, ah, yeah, yeah, now I think I can, I can fall asleep. They will even snore. Tomorrow morning, they'll say, ah, it's time I use the oil of Papa. And then they'll go to church and testify. Don't you know that these are the, <laughs> these are the best testimonies that are needed in church so that people can buy more oil? Anybody who testifies, so no, I want to thank God after we launched new uh, anointing oil, which is called the anointing of uh, uh, Angel Michael. It is an anointing that works. After I used the anointing of Angel Michael, the oil I rubbed on my head, I received a job. Everybody will want to buy it. Can't you see that this is a marketing strategy? This is a marketing strategy that is used so that you can buy. And then after you buy, what happens? You go and you use it. Nothing happens. And you say, ah, let me go and buy another one. You use it. Nothing happens. Before you know it, the oil has become your idol. Now you are frustrated because you can't, you can't do anything without the oil. Then we have prophetic salt. Prophetic salt, they'll tell you, take the prophetic salt, uh, go and use it, put it in your house, uh, sprinkle it outside. What is the difference between the, the man who's giving you a prophetic salt and the sangoma who's in the shrine? If you want to be given these things, just go visit a sangoma. Go and visit Babalao. Go and visit a, 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 a native doctor. Go and visit a, a witch doctor. Simple. We cannot have witch doctors uh, uh, operating on the altar wearing suits. All these people selling you all these things, these are witch doctors, these are sangomas who are just wearing suits. If you go to the sangomas, if you go to the shrine, in South Africa, witch doctors, native doctors are called sangomas. So if you go to the shrine, they give you these things. They give you strings, you tie strings on your hand, you put it here, you put it on your waist, you put it on your leg. What is the difference between the one who's putting a string from the shrine and you who is putting a wristband from your uh, uh, occultic church? What is the difference? There's no difference. Run for your life before it is too late. Run for your life before it is too late. Somebody will say, oh, men of God, preach the gospel. If you feel like this is not the gospel, then you are on the wrong platform. You, you joined the wrong broadcast. Then we have holy water. I spoke about it. It is sold for five rand. They bring it to church, 100 rand. Those, uh, those uh, wristbands, those wristbands, because it is written, maybe they will write a uh, power wristband. Or they'll write a uh, anointing is here. Or oh, the 2020, the year to prosper. And everywhere you go, you pray holding it. I'll prosper this year. I'll prosper this year. You are very foolish. <laughs> Very foolish. Your level of foolishness is like the ones of Galatians. Oh, ye foolish Galatians. Are you, are you getting what I'm saying? So look at this. All those things, leave them. Use the name of Jesus. Simple. As long as it's for sale. If I'm looking for a pastor who's going to say, guys, uh, I know that uh, the Bible says, yeah, it's scriptural. I'm not speaking against the Bible. Oil is scriptural. It is very much scriptural. Let those uh, be anointed with oil. You know, and the oil will be used and then they'll be anointed. You know, it is very scriptural. But the day you begin to sell it, then that is the day we are having a problem. Don't sell it. If you feel like people must, must have oil, package the oil and give it to them for free. The house of God is not a house of merchandise. Jesus walked into the house of the Lord and he whipped everybody out. He said, hey, you, come on, Puma, get out of here. You can't be selling wristbands in the house of God. You can't be selling oil in the house of God. You are here to make profit or you are here to preach the gospel. He whipped them out. One by one, they were selling doves, they were selling goats, they were selling sheep, they were selling different things that they were selling in the house of the Lord. And Jesus whipped all of them out. So those are scams that you find. And all these scams, they all seek to uh, enrich the man, the thief the so-called pastor, the so-called apostle. And then afterwards, after you buy, let, 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 let's do a, a let's, just, let, let's just do the maths as, as, as we are continuing with the broadcast. Let's do the maths. Let's say in your church you are 1,000. And then as you are 1,000 in your church, the oil comes and the oil is going for 100 rand a bottle. And then 1,000 people buy that oil at 100 rand each. 100 rand seems like a chicken change. 100 rand feels like, oh no, it's, it's just 100 rand. Let me just buy the oil and keep quiet. No. They will never sell it to you for 5,000 rand because they will see. They know that you will see that, ah no, this is now a scam. They will always bring it to you at 50 rand. You say, ah, well, how much is it? 50 rand? Ah, it's, it's just changed that, uh, that I got. Then you buy. 
But if 1,000 of you buy that oil for 100 rand, how much is it? Give me the maths. 1,000 by 100 is what? 100,000. Now that is 100,000 rands for 1,000 people. Imagine, after that oil is bought, it doesn't go alone. Normally it goes as a combo. <laughs> Normally it goes as a combo. These are things that are happening. Normally the oil goes as a combo. And the oil will go with a wristband and a sticker. Then they will calculate. Okay, maybe the sticker is uh, a 50 rand. Then the wristband is uh, 50 rand. So together, let's just say 200 rand. So, so everything, you get a, a, new, a, a new wristband. It's called a new wristband. Because the old one that they bought is, is, is now lost uh, effect. Is now lost power. So they have to renew it. They have to renew the power of the wristband. So they'll bring the new one. So we, have the, we are introducing the new wristband. Yeah, the, the old one, you know, you can throw it away. Are you kidding me? <laughs> ah, Jesus. And you see some will be wearing 10, uh, 10 wristbands. Some, the other one is here, the other one is here, the other one is here. They, they are lined up like this. And this is an intellectual person, somebody who's got a degree in, uh, in, uh, in finances, a degree, uh, in master's degree, uh, somebody who's a doctor. Why are you wearing a wristband? No, it's, it's, the wristband is, 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 is for protection. It's, it's the papa uh, gave me. But you are a doctor. What, uh, what, what happened to your senses? Where is your sense? Where is your senses? Oh, Lord. Where is your sense? I don't know if I'm talking to somebody here. Where is your sense? Where is your sense? So, the, so they will come as a combo. Yeah, they will come as a combo. They will come as a combo. The other one will, will be a wristband, a wristband for power. Then the other one will be a wristband for authority. The other one will be a wristband for, for, uh, uh, for prophesying. The other one will be a wristband uh, for flowing. The other one will be a wristband. So, some of these explanations you don't even get to understand. What, what, what does it mean? Then you get the sticker. The sticker has got the face of the man of God. Huh? The sticker has got the face of the thief. That's the thief on that sticker there. That man is a thief. <laughs> yeah, he's a thief. That one on the sticker is a thief. And the name of the man on that wristband is a thief. That's a robber. He's a, he's a, he's a charlatan. He's a jackal. <laughs> These are not men of God. These are businessmen. They are in it for money. They are not in it for souls.